Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is the condensed version of the balancing update stream. As you guys may know, I co-hosted the entire stream with uh, Klaus Gaming. I'll link him in the description below if you want to check out the entire stream. But if you're short on time, if you're in a hurry, um, this is a much shorter version. I'm going to be showing some attacks, basically summarizing what happened in the stream, because of course I was there for the entire thing uh, in one capacity or another. So so uh, I had a great time streaming, just want to get that out there, uh, really fun event and uh, I really thank Super So and everyone who was involved in the war uh, for making it such a great event. But that being said, I just want to start off with an attack. I'll get to my thoughts a little bit later in the video. Um, it will be a short video, but I'll get to those thoughts a little bit later. I want to first just start off uh, right off the bat with a nice attack here that um, really showcases the level five miners. This stream was all about showing the new balanced uh, Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. There was some new adjustments, such as these level five miners, among other things, that are gonna have a pretty serious impact. I think pretty much everyone agrees on the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 game. So uh, you can also check out my analysis a few videos back on my channel uh, for more information on how I think this update is gonna affect the clan war scene. But for now, let's talk about the stream specifically and focusing on this attack first. So Itsu, of course, I think a lot of people know Itsu uh, from that Builder Hall stream. If you guys watched that about a month or two ago back in Finland, I actually was present for that. Um, it was another fun stream and he won the Builder Hall tournament, the very first uh, showcasing of the new Builder Hall game mode. He won that tournament. He's a great Builder Hall attacker and also a very strong just Town Hall 11 attacker in the main village. So these miners are very interesting, but also take a look at those level five healers. Those are new as well. I like that change because Queen Walks, we don't see quite that much at Town Hall 11. And with the Warden as well, he's a nice little uh, helper on the Queen Walks. And look at him peel off onto the miners. He doesn't have that tome, but he has the, uh, the health buff that all troops get within his radius. So he kind of is doing double duty in this attack here. Very well executed. The queen will step up, pop the ability, takes out the inferno. Uh, could not have gone better. And uh, the miners making their way through. Great heal placement, healing both groups. One group on the eagle, one group uh, making their way towards the top of the base around 12 o'clock there. This one, the only Achilles heel of this attack was time. He just did not have enough time to take out the entire base. So um, really good attack, and I think it shows the power of miners at Town Hall 11, especially coupled with the level 5 healers on a queen walk. Just did not uh, manage time quite well enough. So nice attack to Itsu though, uh, one of the, the gems of this stream for sure. Anyway, we'll back out. I want to give a little bit of thoughts. We're going to take a look at some attacks, just basically the condensed version. Now the stream started off with um, just us going through the players, some notable people in the stream. So I'll go ahead and do that for you guys as well. Um, we had two teams. Uh, they were made up of Supercell employees. Uh, streamers, YouTubers, Reddit people, anyone who uh, has access to the new content before it comes out, and uh, a few notable faces, Lord Val, French uh, YouTuber and streamer who was in that Builder Hall stream, that's the uh, new, uh, the stream for the new Builder Hall stuff about a month or month and a half ago in May, um, you might remember him from that stream, as well as Itsu, the winner of that. Uh, moving down, we have uh, myself, uh, my name was One Hive Gazette, my channel name in this one. And then we have Ken, uh, a prominent Chinese uh, YouTuber and streamer. Moving down, also Cast and Blast, a, uh, someone who I know um, somewhat well, who's an, a YouTuber, does clan war content, stuff like that, strategy videos. So um, had some great people in this war. Um, certainly people I'm going to forget to say, but uh, that's how I have off the top of my head. Anyway, though, that's how the stream started off. Then from there on out, it was basically showing some of these awesome attacks, um, how they shaped up, and also showing a few of my own attacks because I did a few live, um, talking through them as I went a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the next attack, though. We want to take a look all the way down here at uh, one of my attacks that was live in the stream. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to go ahead and show it now just because it's one of the uh, the attacks that shows hogs and I want to have at least one hog attack shown in this uh, quick video for you guys so you can get an idea of how these level uh, 6 hogs are post-update because they do get that buff. All level hogs have a slight hit point buff 
or actually I, I don't want to say all level, I'm kind of spacing out, I don't have the exact information in front of me, at least level six and level seven, that might just be it, but basically the levels at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, at least you're getting that buff, and that's going to make, I think, a solid difference, because hogs were already coming back, and I think this will bring them back even faster to Town Hall 10 three-star attempts. So like I said, I did this one live on the stream, and... I, I was nervous for sure. This was my second attack, actually. The first one was a fail as well. Um, this one, I was just trying to do a queen walk around the base and luring the CC right there. Double poison. A few things do kind of go wrong here, uh, which does ruin the attack. I tried to drop in a few hogs to trigger a giant bomb right by this air defense, but no can do. The, the uh, giant bomb is not triggered, and my hogs will have to deal with two giant bombs right there, drop another test one, but I can't quite get the right angle. It will not trigger that giant bomb. I believe the queen gets pretty stubborn right here on me and does not go into the base correctly, which is really unfortunate, or does not go around the base. I wanted her to, oh, actually, never mind. There she goes. I must be uh, thinking of a different attack. So anyway, the hogs come in on two different locations, uh, one to get the inferno, the other to push through uh, by the king, but a few spring traps, the king, all that point defense, plus the hogs uh, taking the double giant bomb by the inferno. There's just not enough of them. They peter out too quickly. Don't get the job done. That heal spell won't do anything. I drop my king up top on the left just to wall breaker him in and get that compartment taken out. Pay uh, close attention. We got the geared up archer tower with that smaller range but much higher DPS. That is something you have the option of doing on one of your archer towers. So something to consider uh, once this stuff comes out. Also, uh, the queen goes down at the bottom there, and that'll pretty much do it for this attack. So not the best, but um, those are the hogs. You can see not a huge difference. Um, I don't have the exact numbers for you guys, but um, not going to be a huge change from what I've seen. Just enough to maybe make them more viable. Of course, if I can comment on the uh, war as a whole, a lot of people said, oh, these weren't the best attacks. And honestly, a few things were going on. First, the war is only about two hours long, a two-hour battle day. People are trying to plan, trying to coordinate who's attacking what, trying to keep the attacks spread out because um, that's also another good point. Um, the attacks had to stay spread out, otherwise it wouldn't make for a good stream because people would be all attacking at once. That kind of happened anyway, but not as bad as it could have been. So um, I think we did a pretty good job coordinating in the uh, limited amount of time overall that we had. So those two factors, plus you know people just not having a lot of time to plan, um, and people trying to use the new troops instead of maybe use a strategy that's consistently uh, a better strategy, but maybe won't showcase some of the new troops. So there were a lot of factors that uh, were limiting the ability to go for these three-star attacks, and I think that might be a little bit of the reason why some people might have been disappointed in the content. I still thought there were some pretty uh, decent attacks, though. Did not have any 10v10 triples, but those are still very difficult, and I didn't really expect any in the uh, with all those limitations I said. Um, but we had some pretty good, I think, setups for attacks that could have been tweaked for a three star for sure. Anyway, I wanted to show my base as well. I don't believe this was shown on the stream, but it was a very nice Laloon attack. Now, Laloon is not really getting any adjustments made to it uh, for Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, for any Town Hall level. Um, so it's just going to kind of be how it was. Same with the Witch Bowler attack. Those two um, very tried and tested consistent, uh, or at least as consistent as you can be at Town Hall 10, uh, three-star strategies are not getting any changes. So I think they will still continue to be good uh, strategies, but we'll also see miners or hogs or something like that also become a possibility. This one, of course, being a Town Hall 11 attack, a dip on my base. Pretty uh, smooth sailing for Mungo here as he takes out my base. I wanted to show it because people seem to always like watching my bases get wrecked. But I think it is a pretty good layout. Um, it can defend 10v10 pretty well if you're looking for a, a layout to use in your Town Hall 10 base. Anyway, though, that will do it for this attack. Got pretty much wrecked there. Let's keep moving along. Um, in terms of other stuff I can tell you about the stream, I did my live attacks. Um... Klaus kind of took the reins for the most part. He did a great job commentating, and I don't, I don't think he's a regular streamer from what he was saying. He just kind of does it occasionally, um, mainly focuses on videos, but he did a great job. A lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy. Like I said, I am linking that uh, the full stream in the description, and you can also check out his channel through that, uh, Klaus Gaming. Great guy, and uh, I think he did a great job on the stream. I had a lot of fun doing it, but um, yeah, it was two hours long, 
we had a, I think a two hour prep day. Yeah, two hours prep day, two hour battle day. So a very quick thing. And I'm hopeful that, you know, if we continue to do these kind of things, it'll be better connection with the community because we can really uh, just kind of get the content out there, not keep it too much of a secret. I know a lot of people do like the sneak peek videos, but the streams tend to show it even more in the rawest form of people actually using it in attacks, not just a few uh, random attacks in multiplayer, but an actual clan war, um, <clears throat> I think makes for a more exciting event. Had great viewership, a lot of people turned out to watch. I was shocked to see the numbers we had, but um, that is for the full stream, of course. Great uh, great job by Supercell getting it out there and by Klaus just making it um, a fun thing to watch. And uh, I had a great time co-commentating it. So as we move through here, you can see uh, the dragons making their way down. This was a crazy attack. I think it was towards the end of the stream we did see this. A 10v11 attack. Um, obviously not the most cleanest attack, but once again, the uh, the restrictions in terms of the time and people wanting to show off the, show off the new troops, uh, both were factors here. The dragons did get a change. They do have a hit point increase uh, for levels, I wanna say four through six. So Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 levels because they weren't really seen very much, and I think this one might bring them back for especially these 10 v 11 two-star attempts. And I said this in the stream, but of course this is the condensed version of the stream, or at least it's supposed to be, so I'll say it in this video as well, because I think it makes the highlight reel um, for one of the points I want to make, and that is that I think dragons might become, um, is that the right base I want to show? Did I already show this one? Uh, no, I want to show a different base. Um, I think we're going to see dragons become a good strategy for 10v11 uh, three-star attacks. Yeah, this is the base I want to show. Uh, or 10v11 two-star attacks. Sorry, I got a little bit befuddled there. Because we have the defensive changes. I haven't mentioned those yet. The defensive changes are Town Hall 11 quite a few new levels that are going to make 10v11 attacks, those two-star attempts we see in war, very difficult. We have the level 15 archer tower and cannon. Also, we have that level 5 inferno tower. Some very brutal defensive changes for a town hall 10 looking to two-star town hall 11. It wasn't too difficult uh, before the update, but now uh, once this update hits, I think it's going to be much more uh, difficult to get the two star and I think dragons might be a solution in part because they if used correctly if the base is right you know oftentimes the air defenses are offset to defend against three stars if that's the case by the way check out those new levels uh what is that seven wall breakers very cool design they do more damage more hit points all good stuff there check out those wall breakers you guys saw them just a few moments ago anyway though I digress um those dragons they don't um they kind of negate the cannon change, the level 15 cannons, which do an incredible amount of damage, will not be an issue for dragons, of course. And I think they um, are able to overpower bases more than bowlers or valks if you use them correctly, if you follow them into the town hall. I think if people can kind of master that uh, deployment of the, um, of the dragons, that might be a viable option. We saw a little bit in this war. Now, a lot of the Town Hall 11 bases were on the outside, and, or the Town Hall was on the outside of the base, which makes the two stars quite a bit easier. But still, I think the Dragons with that hit point buff, they've gotten a buff in pretty much every balancing update, it seems like, for the last, I don't know, forever. They've been continuously buffed, and I think it's finally time to say they're probably a pretty good two star strategy. Of course, the base has to be right. It is a little bit base specific, but if it's there, it's there, and I think it really can work. Anyway, though, this is one more attack using both the level 5 healers and the level 5 miners, uh, both new, of course, to Town Hall 11. Also, for the miners, I had no attacks to show for this um, because they weren't very successful and, and not, nothing worth showing, but there were some attacks with the level 3 miners that have been moved down to Town Hall 10 with an HP buff, so two critical changes to miners coming to Town Hall 10, the new level and the new HP on that level, making them a much more viable option at Town Hall 10. So we probably will see a much better balance at Town Hall 10 with possibly dragons being an option, possibly miners, maybe hogs, and then the two more consistent strategies being the witch bowler and the laloon. So I think um, all those are gonna be good options and I'm excited to see how it shapes up. So anyway, this was a quick 15 minute uh, video 
not the quickest video, but much shorter than the full two hours in case you guys were wanting to see a condensed version. Those were some of the top attacks. Of course, there's more in the stream if you want to check that out. Um, I do encourage you to if you have time. It was a very fun event to record. We did have one 11v11 three star that I can't show um, by the request of Supercell for various reasons, but um, was an awesome attack using La Loon. So nothing really new there that you guys missed. Just a old strategy that's been working very well. The base was an anti two star base, which made it a little bit easier. So that all being said, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, thank you to, I guess, everyone in this war, um, Supercell for organizing it and to Klaus Gaming for being my co-host. Hopefully we can do more collab type videos because I had a great time. That'll do it for this short video, somewhat short, uh, telling you guys what happened in the stream. And I will hope to see you around the channel if you're not a subscriber. And if you are, see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.